I want to talk to you about MIDI synchronization. It's not enough to simply have your devices talk to each other over MIDI and send notes and commands. They also have to synchronize in time so that they don't get out of time with each other and they can all play along. In everything we've done so far, either Logic has played all the notes and the montage has just generated the tones, or the other way around. But we've never needed to have both Logic and the montage keep time. This project is designed to demo that. Let's have a quick look at what I've got here. The project is currently set to 100 beats per minute. I've got this software synth here playing back a bass line that I generated using the arpeggiator on the montage using Arpeggio Record on DAW. Let's have a quick listen to how it sounds. And I've also got the Logic Drummer providing a drum track. The next four tracks are going to be played by the montage, but I'm only sending trigger notes actually having the montage generate the arpeggiated notes on the fly, so those aren't recorded. The reason I've done that is because if the montage arpeggiated doesn't keep time with logic, then things are going to sound out of, out of sync. Let's turn those on and see how they sound. Right now they sound okay, because as you can see, I've got logic set to 100 beats per minute, and I've also got the montage set to 100 beats per minute. But if I change the tempo in Logic, those arpeggios coming from the montage are not changing speed, despite the fact that the trigger notes are being sent more slowly. I can make that even more ridiculous by drawing an automation curve for the tempo. To do this, we're going to need to change settings, first of all, on the montage itself. Let's open Utility, and then Tempo Settings. We're going to need to change the MIDI sync from Internal to MIDI, and we're also going to change the Clock Out setting to Off. We have to make Logic the master in this case, because it's the only way that Logic will work. We can't make the montage control the Logic Sync, it has to be the other way around. So let's go and make the changes to Logic to tell it to control the montage. We're gonna to go to File, Project Settings, Synchronization, MIDI, and now you'll see a list of the MIDI devices that are currently connected to Logic. And any that we want to sync, we're going to click the clock option and also this PDC option, which is a compensation system uh, to allow Logic to automatically apply a, an amount of delay to any software plugins that are running in the project so that everything keeps in time. With those settings made, we can close down the settings and we're almost ready to go. But you might have noticed that even though we've got Logic set to 65 beats per minute at the moment, the montage still says 100. The reason for that is that Logic will not send the clock until you start or stop or restart a piece of MIDI data. So let's rewind to the beginning and hit playback and you'll see the montage start to respond. So there we are, the basics of MIDI sync.